comes a time when every relationship meets its first real challenge. And whether the source of that challenge is something huge or something very, very small, what matters for your future is how you face it. For me, that challenge came when I was on vacation with my then fiance on the Caribbean island of St. Croix. We arrived and we were blown away by the natural splendor of the island, the sun high in the sky, the sand so perfectly white and smooth, and the water crystal clear. Right away, we knew we wanted to go swimming. So we got changed and we jumped in the water and it was so warm. And there were these cute little fishies that were tickling our feet. And there was seaweed, most picturesque, stretched out laconically into the distance. Now the hotel was on this tiny island just off the main island, so we thought it would be fun to go for a swim around that island. And that was a big mistake, because the other side, the side facing the sea, was different. It was rocky, the water was cold and choppy, and it was this deep, dark blue that you could barely see into. So we got bored of that pretty quick, and we turned to go back. I kicked my leg out to swim away, and that's when I felt something sharp pierce the bottom of my foot. And I said, ow. We got back to the beach, and I looked down, and sure enough, sticking a half inch out of the bottom of my foot, there was the black spine of a sea urchin. I limped back to the hotel room, and the whole way my fiancé was freaking out. Aren't those poisonous? Are you poisoned? Are you going to die? I didn't think I was going to die, but then again, if I were to die on the beach on a tropical island with the sun setting romantically in the background and the arms of a beautiful woman who loved me, that would be a good way to go. So I was ready, but uh, she was not on board. So as soon as we got back to the room, she set about trying to save my life. And her first trick was to take some tweezers from her bag and just try to yank that thing out of there. And so she's pulling and pulling every which way, and I'm screaming, and there's some blood. And it turns out a sea urchin's spine is covered in thousands of microscopic barbs. And I can tell you from experience, it does a very good job of keeping it in your body. So after a few minutes of that, I said, please, find another way. So she did some research online, and she found, hey, look, you can soak your foot in water, and it will soften up the skin. So I said, sure, anything. So we went in the bathroom, got a little basin, filled it with water, stuck my foot in there, waited about 20 minutes. It got real nice and pruney took it out, and she went for round two. More screaming, more blood, and in the midst of my throes of agony, it occurs to me, oh yeah, a sea urchin is an underwater creature. It probably thought of this. So I say, enough, and then she came up with the last resort, and she said, you know, it says here you can use urine as an astringent to loosen up the skin, and I said, what? And she said, you need to pee on your foot. And I said, that's ridiculous. I'm clearly not poisoned. There's no reason for me to pee on my foot. Let's just go back to enjoy our vacation. One of us was still able to put her foot down. It was her. And she summoned all of the power of her five foot, one and a half inches. And she looked me dead in the eyes and she said, you're going to pee on your foot if I have to stand here and watch you do it. Well... I wanted there to be some magic left for the wedding night. (laughs) So I said, "Uh, that's not necessary. You leave the bathroom. I'll take care of it. And when I'm ready, I'll come get you, and we'll try again. So she goes outside. I close the door. I can still see her shadow hovering (laughs) underneath the door frame. And that's when I had this thought. I can just pretend to pee on my foot. And she'll never know the difference. I'll just, like, rinse it off and... uh, This is pointless and disgusting, so there's no reason for me to go through this. Then we can get back to enjoying fun in the sun. So I get ready, and then I'm like, wait a minute. In a few months, I'm going to marry this girl. I'm going to promise to spend the rest of my life with her. Do I really want to start things out like this? (laughs) Because yes, this is pointless, and yes, this is disgusting, but it's important to her. And if I'm willing to lie to her about something small, what am I going to do when something big comes along? So I stood there, balanced on one foot in the bathtub, (laughs) mulling this over in my mind. And I reached down. And I took careful aim. And I peed on my foot for the woman I love. But you know what? It did not work. That spine is still in my foot. But what matters is, this ring is still on my finger. Thank you.